What is up guys, Coop here, and today we are playing Inscription. It's like a horror card game. I don't know anything about it, but it's made from the same guys that made Pony Island. And that game's fucking nuts. Uh, just absolutely crazy. So today we're going to be jumping into this horror game, seeing what's out there, seeing what it's all about. I'm also pretty good at card games, so I don't know anything about this though. But we're going to go ahead and click... Devolver Digital. I'm excited. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Hmm. Uh. Oh. Press any button to start. Enter. Alright. Hopefully the sound is not too loud game doesn't let me do new game let's see credit options what is options don't even work ah that's kind of a cool system all right so we got screen shake flicker uh, full screen, high quality, gamma, that, that all looks pretty good. Yeah, full volume, we'll, we'll turn it down just a little bit. Alright, um, I guess continue? Since we don't have new game? Maybe because it's a new game you have to go back? I don't know, interesting. This game is probably going to have a lot of hidden easter eggs and things out there, so. I don't like that. No, no, no. <laughs> Alright. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. So we got a stoked, two wolves, and a squirrel. Let's go ahead and play that. Now play your style. Oh, okay. So you got W, SD keys. Okay. So that's it. Why is his eyes like that? I don't like that. Alright. So stow. Oh, okay. So it costs one blood, and sacrifices must be made. Okay. So, yeah, it has that. So you sacrifice it, gives it a blood. Okay. Interesting. Play the stout. Go back. Wolves require two sacrifices. You do not have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commit combat. Alright. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power of one. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. If you tip the scale all the way down, you win, okay. Ah, oh, dude, I don't like that. <laughs> Not one bit like this. My turn. He plays the coyote. Coyote stands in the way of his thing, so it deals damage to it. Now, two damage to my stove, which means your stove is two less health. If the creature reaches zero, it dies. Okay, so. It's your turn again. You can draw from the deck or draw a squirrel. Well, obviously, I'm going to draw a squirrel. How dull. Well, drawing from the deck wouldn't have made much sense. So I'll do that. And we're going to summon a wolf. <laughs> Wait, what? Its suffering is real, uh, and you will see, but you will see it again. Okay. Alright, so the wolf is there, and we'll end our turn. There you go. Wiped it out. Because you're learning, I will pass. Uh, I'm gonna draw another squirrel. In my turn, add three. Pass. We'll draw from the deck. Oh, we got a river snapper. Summon that, and uh, yeah, we don't have anything we can do, so we're gonna go ahead and end our turn. You won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let's recall your story. 
Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. Single path revealed itself. Interesting. Okay, so it's like a game board here. And I'm assuming that these are random events that happen. So, just go here. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. Cost to gather. Um, damage from its poison is always lethal, so it'll always kill something. Interesting. And you got the cat. Uh, sacrificing this poor beast does not kill it. I think the cat. The cat has a lot of synergy we can do with it. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures in the forest seem to willingly follow you. You come across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in the bottle, just in case. Have a second. There we go. We got ourselves another, let's see, another tool, useful. I'll always tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. Okay. Those are just random supplies you can pick up. Cool. And I'm assuming it gets more elaborate as time goes on. Uh, you're ambushed in the rough terrain. Okay, so you sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play, I get it, maybe. Maybe you'll help me. Play along for now. Okay. That's weird. Alright, uh, we'll summon that. And then we'll go back down. Oh! You can see what he's about to play. Okay. Um, we'll sacrifice that to play the cat here. Uh, and then we'll sacrifice that to summon the stoat here. Here we go. We got the river snapper here. Okay. Alright, so that seems like a good first turn, so we'll go ahead, go ahead and stop it. Wolf cub. Uh, it's a wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Okay, so in like one turn it'll do something. Alright, um... We're gonna go ahead and we'll draw another card. Because we'll end up breaking that. We'll summon the squirrel here. We'll sacrifice you, sacrifice you, and then we'll put you here. And that's pretty much all we can do. We have a bat coming in. Let's see, bat flies over and can attack directly. Interesting. Ha, huh, my bat flew right over your stout. Okay. Um, We'll go ahead and draw another card. I can't really do anything, so we'll just end our turn for right now. Cool. Um, uh, we'll go ahead and draw a squirrel. Summon that squirrel. We're gonna go down here and we will get rid of that and summon it. There we go. It'll do damage, killing everything there. And we did a lot of excess damage there. We railed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. Oh, we get another card. Let's see what we get. Wolf Cub. Ages. Uh, Sparrow can just fly. We'll do the Wolf Cub. I like the Wolf Cub. Because it only costs one and it turns into like a 3-2, which is great. So it's just one turn. You stumble upon some strange stones in the mist. Choose a worthy sacrifice and it'll be lost forever. I don't want to get rid of the cat. The cat's so good, but we just got this wolf cub and we're already getting rid of it. Pick me. I guess we'll pick you. Sure, I mean, if that's what you want. What an honor. The wolf cub now lives in the stoat. Interesting. Okay, so we powered it up. What are you? Inscribes your canine cards with an airborne sigil. So his wolves can fly. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No matter, don't care for the role. Pathetic, really. Enough. Okay. He did not like that. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Okay. Uh, so you got a coyote and a bat coming up. So what we'll do... 
summon squirrel, obviously. Um, play that there. Back on the board, yep. Um, yeah, for right now, we're just gonna have to end our turn. Um, there's nothing really we can do right now. Yeah, so he has the power of flying. Oof. Scary. Okay, um, we're gonna grab a squirrel. We're gonna bust this squirrel out. We're gonna summon that squirrel. Go down here, summon that squirrel. And we're gonna get rid of it to summon a wolf. There we go. Uh, we'll grab another squirrel. I don't think there's anything we can do, so we're just gonna go ahead and end that. You're three damage away from winning. All right, uh, we'll grab another squirrel. Do that. Go down. Summon another squirrel. Do that. And we'll summon a river snapper. And that should be enough to kill him. Yeah, exactly three damage. Oh, well, wasn't enough. Let's just grab a squirrel for next round. Yeah. Did a lot of excess damage. Impressive, uh, you may survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. <laughs> Alrighty. Man, we're trucking right along, so. I mean, it's still the tutorial. We'll see how it goes afterwards. Uh, let's see. Bullfrog, it leaps in the way and of flyers. Elk, it moves after its turn. And Sparrow, it flies. Hmm. I, I do like having air defense. Um, air kind of really annoys me. Um, we can either give something a power up or go to this campfire. We haven't seen what a campfire does, so we'll check that out. Oh. You come across a small group of survivors. <laughs> These things are creepy as hell, too. Their faces shrunken from starvation, and they're huddled around a campfire. They look upon the group of creatures and beckon. Come warm yourself, you Come, oh wait. Come warm your, your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire and it enhances its power. You notice that uh, one of the survivors drool from their mouth. So they're really hungry, so. <laughs> I don't think we would want to send him in there. Should, should we send him in there? Or should, or should we send the bullfrog? Yeah, we'll send it. We'll send them in there. We'll see what happens. The fire warmed the poor spell, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed its their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the stone away from the fire and left. Probably a good move. All right, what is this? Just a fight? Alrighty. What do we got going on? We got a grizzly. Oh boy, that's a, that's a beefy boy. Um, so what we will do is, I think we really should just go for the frog here and summon that. Um, it's gonna be tough because of the grizzly coming through, but we can afford to lose a little bit. Let's see. I'll do enough to do that. The scales flip. It says that this could help us out in our favor. Let's see. Let's pull it. Oh God. Oh no 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 <laughs> no 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 no. Yellow Aaron, you didn't do it. I didn't think you'd really do it. Oh my God. What is it? The scale. Yeah, I get we have to put the squirrel there. I wanted it to defend, but I don't think I can win this though. Yeah, 
I don't know how I could win this fight, because I already pulled my teeth, and that didn't do anything. Yeah. I lost. You've lost. Use this as a learning opportunity, me. You only imagine how much money you may have. Okay. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick on top of the barrel beside the door. Is there a way for me to, like, look at him? Like, get closer? Oh. Oh, what the fuck are you? You can, like, kind of see his face a little bit there, but, like... Oh, there's a clock. Is this, like, one of those, like, you put it at midnight and something happens? What if I set it to the exact time it is right now? It is 12. Let's see, it's 12, 38 plus. Yeah, I don't know. I guess there's nothing we can do right now. Nothing on that painting. This game's gonna have a ton of like little things in it. I can already tell. Like, look, it's got like a safe. Oh, there's a hand there. Nope. Not about that. Oh, look, it's the little people. Candlestick. Got a lock here. Got a globe. That. We put out the flame. What are you? <laughs> are you like Freddy Frazbear? Because like you can kind of see like an ear here, but it's not him. Look at that hand. Ooh. I don't like it. <laughs> now sit back down. Oh. Is this a weapon? Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Okay, um... We're gonna go do the cards. Conveying Raven a blight upon the skies. Why does it have a mushroom here? I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. Yo, campfire! I love the campfire. A group of survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will embrace its power. One of the survivors says nothing at all. But you could not stop licking their lips. Alright. Um, I guess we'll pick something. No way. Nah, get your happy ass up there. The power of the stoat has been enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from the pocket, you withdraw. Yeah? Seems to be a common theme. Oh no, is this like the boss? It's probably gonna be the boss, isn't it? I, Cause it like normal skulls mean that, so. Here we go, let's see what happens. The trees seemed to close around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance you hear the clanking of metal on stone. A hooded figure stood in your path. Oh no! <laughs> All right, I gotta figure out a voice for this. Hee haw, tis the prospector. All right, here, let's see what we got here. Oh, well, let's see. We got a wolf and a pack mule. So what we'll do is we'll summon the squirrel. Get rid of the squirrel to summon the cat. And we'll get rid of the cat to put the bullfrog in. Alright, we'll grab that. 
And we'll do that to summon the wolf. Let's see, the mole. We do kind of need to just wait it out a little bit. He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mole's or the mule's the key. Okay. This spot? You sure? I mean, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's doing pretty well. All right. Uh, we're just gonna grab that. We'll end our turn for right now. One candle goes out. Oh, you thought it would... Wait. Oh, you hope it... You didn't think it would be that easy. Mmm. So it resets. I hear them golden them cards. Oh, no. What are you doing? No! Gold! I've struck gold! Alright. Um... We'll draw a card. Uh... And we'll have to... I guess we have to end our turn here. Bloodhound. Get him. Um, we'll grab a squirrel. Summon a squirrel. We'll go back down. Summon another squirrel. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And we'll do that. Because that'll get rid of the bulldog there. That's... Oh, no. I'd rather him not be able to attack at all this turn. Um, let's see. If I do three, and then he does three, okay, nothing happens. So that's good. So scale will go back. That'll, that'll go there. Bullfrog goes there. We got this. I think we got it. It's gonna be easy. We'll push that, and then we'll go back down, and yeah, pack mule dies. Oh, look at that! Bunch of cards. Dag, nab it, my mule. And like that, boss is dead. Allow me to light one of your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Hell yeah! You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted the opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Alright, let's see what we got here. We need some good cards. So, preferably some one cost. What? You're a wooly. He's a 477. An impressive specimen. So he's a power up specimen. And then a gek. <laughs> On the Spartan gek. Perhaps you could find a use of it. Interesting. Here's the thing I feel like the choice of this seems good. It does. It seems like it would be a really, really good, powerful card. But it's also got a four cost, which is very hard to get. So, and the enhancing larva will probably just slowly get better and better and better as time goes on. But then you've got the gek, which we don't know what it does, but it's gonna have some sort of trick because it has like this little dragon symbol in the corner, which it makes it seem like it'll turn into something eventually. So, I'm going to choose the Gek. And there we have it. With the sound of the uh, Prospector's uh, pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carry onward. 
Hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold uh, permeate the humid air. Every step forward was answered by a nearby slip or slither. You tread carefully into the wetlands. Alrighty, guys. I think that is a good stopping point for the first part of this journey through this game of Inscription. Now, I actually <laughs> kind of enjoying this game a lot. Uh, it's got a lot of character and a little bit of horror element, and then we're barely scratching the surface. Um, I thought about just playing it for 30 minutes, but you know what? I, I think we might have to do a let's play of this. I, I think so. This is uh, it's got a lot of character and a lot of things going on. So I'm gonna stop the recording here. And I'm going to go ahead and start jumping over to part two. Be sure to be on the lookout. There will be more episodes to come because I'm, I'm, I'm in trance right now. I just want to keep going. So, anyways, guys, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.